Mom, Dad, Our Books and Me, written by Danielle Marcotte, illustrated by Jose Pession. And our dedication page. I love it when we're all together. Mom, Dad, Our Books and Me. Mom reads, Dad reads, and I read too. Buddy doesn't read. He hasn't learned yet. Toto doesn't read either. He'd rather watch TV. And forget Gracie. She's much too busy. But I'm not too busy. I know how to turn pages, name pictures, and sound out words. I can read now like the big kids. Everyone around me reads. After five or six pages, Grandma's head is in the clouds. Grandpa takes a cover beneath a canopy and sinks into his novel. Uncle browses in a kitchen scented with eggplants and thyme. Auntie reads sheet music. She tells wonderful stories made of sound. Pirate stories give my neighbor the shivers as she swings safely in her hammock. While I get, like getting goosebumps in my bubble bath. And books are not the only things we read. The fisherman reads the sky for coming storms. A woman reads love poems in her boyfriend's eyes. A tourist reads the time on his watch while checking the train schedule. Madame Dory reads the future in tarot cards and crystal balls and in lines of my poem. Everyone in the doctor's office reads from the nurses to the patients. A baby chews on a board book while the doctor reads a thermometer. Reading can make you cry. Reading can make you smile. I like it best when I laugh and cry. Thanks to books, I find balance. I climb high, I follow new roads, and I move forward. But as far as books can may take me, I will never lose my way, because books also bring us together. Mom, Dad, our friends, and me.